my mother used to have a saying. Son, she said, life is like a baritone solo. You never know what you're going to get. I joined the band in the year 1500. Um, we've, we've been around and about as this band uh, way before electricity or vaccines or even entertainment contests were invented. My first concert for the band in the 1500s was for some young man named Henry. I didn't know very much about him at the time. He was looking for a corps of trumpets and sackbutts, he said, for his wedding feast. Oh, and I wrote my own piece, he said, and I want you to play it. And you don't really say no to a king with a request like that. Anyway, he called it Pastime with Good Company. And so many years passed, Cub kept on playing, until 1887, a then little-known composer called Antonin Vorjak was stomping around New York in a fluster. The, new, the premiere of his New World Symphony was that Saturday, and he didn't have a percussionist. They'd left him in the lurch. Thankfully, Cub happened to be in New York on holiday at that time, and we had a star percussionist at the ready. Years later, Cub crossed back over the Atlantic, and then came the Eurovision Song Contest of 1974. A group of four young Swedes, um, they wanted to enter, but they couldn't find their sound, and they searched far and wide, and when it looked like they might despair, they happened upon a Cub rehearsal, and this is what they heard. So there we have it. Our band has known kings and queens and composers and pop stars. King Henry never got the wedding he wanted, but at least he still got some parties. In New York, our percussionist played so well that Antonin Vorjak became a household name. And despite several copyright suits, ABBA took their song to Eurovision. And the rest, I suppose, is history. <laughs> 